using GitHub models for free API keys for OpenAI and others. I've been looking for this since a long time. GitHub models is a service from GitHub. So you must have a GitHub account before you can use it. And the good thing is that you can be running against all the latest models from OpenAI and others, many others without having to sign up to those services directly. So this is a good thing for developers. And for this, I will suggest that I got this from Andrew, Andrew Locke's blog page. And in the description, I have given the link to that and all the links I have given in the description so that you can look. But now you should go to github.com slash marketplace slash models and hit enter. Here you will see select a model you can see that a lot lot models are given here you can select any model you want you do not have to log into that specific website you simply have to select your model i've selected openai gpt 4o and use this model a dialog will open you can see this dialog opens and i will just expand this to see the whole view select the language as c sharp and sdk as open ai sdk let me show you scroll down to the various parts of this page a lot of information has been given here source code even source code and a lot many exhaustive samples have been given i too will be giving these examples to you but not in this video in this video, I'll just explain how to obtain your API keys that we developers usually struggle. So click on get developer key and move to the personal access tokens, select fine grained tokens. That is very important. Do not uh, select fine grained, but do not select the classic token click on fine grained tokens so you will see generate new token type any suitable name for your token so that you can identify it you can give any name you like any valid and put any description you want these are all for personal use not for production use but that's more than sufficient for a developer once you succeed in uh, then you can get and here let's uh, set the expiration time so with these settings one important setting is on account permissions leave everything as it is nothing to worry but only one thing you need to set is for models you should set a read only permission this is this is the only only this that we need to set this is the only permission we need to set others can be left unchanged and uh, let's uh, finally move towards the end generate token it will just tell you when it is going to expire and permissions and click on generate token you might be asked to log in and this is the token they give copy it 
it has to be used only it will be visible only once so copy it and put it at any place you want so this is how we do thank you